Welcome to the Spencer Lodge podcast in partnership with Najahi Events. And by golly, by gosh, are we at an event right now? Tony Robbins, Prince EA, Nick Vujicic and Alicia Keys on stage performing, sharing, helping, inspiring so many people with all their words of wisdom, knowledge, skills, strategies, etc. In today's episode of the podcast, we've got the awesome Nick Vujicic. If you don't know who he is, maybe you know, no arms, no legs, no worries. What an epic guy. I spoke to him for just a few minutes minutes because he was absolutely exhausted after performing on stage, but he shared some pearls of wisdom. And this man really moves me. It moves me so much that I can literally cry when I'm sat next to him. Without further ado though, let's just get on with the cue music. Let's enjoy this because this really is a treat. What a massive honor it is to have you sitting next to me today. A man that touched my life in so many ways in 2012. Mm. I just want to say cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Oh, mate. Give me a hug. Yeah, I man. love you. Thank you so much. I love you. You had such a big impact on me and I've watched a lot of your content over the years. Today, I've been very grateful to see you speak and you have a massive impact on people. In But, but when I watch what you do, there's such a, a kind of like a wit to what you do as well. It's like, you know, it's that, that element of, you know, you don't take yourself too seriously right. and, and you share with everybody this kind of, the, the, the stories that are, that are pain and struggle, but then you slap some comedy in there as well and it just lifts the whole room as you do it. Now, obviously you've been doing it for a long time and you've got a lot of stories that you've experienced along the way. But can you remember the first time you stood in front of a stage, a group, a large group of people and had that kind of impact and how did it feel? Oh, it felt amazing. I mean, we're talking about this kid that was once bullied at school, feeling alone, feeling like, what am I gonna do, you know, in my life? And uh, am I ever gonna find purpose? And here I am, abling people to enabling people to open up their eyes to a different perspective of life seeing their glasses not half empty but half full and it's just memorable like uh, you can't explain you can't describe how it feels when someone comes up to you looks you in the eye cries and says that changed my life i will never be the same again and that just that's my drug i just love that that's got to be the best drug in the world though there can't be a better drug than that if people do that to you <laughs> there can't be though can there there isn't there isn't gee man i just think about that is that the impact that that would have on me just as a human being to live like that no you have no idea that person uh, that you haven't met here came today sat in that chair told me face to face what she told my wife on Instagram, saying that she was once married. She's Vietnamese Chinese, went to California, once married, two children, two companies, lost the kids, lost the husband, lost the two companies, homeless, drug addicted, OD'd. She still had a laptop and she's just listening to music. And somehow she comes across my music video, something more. And the lines say, I know there's something more than what we're living for. I see it in the stars. I feel it on the shore. I know there's something more. Snapped her out of an OD. Wow. She went out in the pouring rain. She became fully sober and she never went back to drugs. She then left with 50 bucks in her pocket to go to Dubai. And I just met her in that chair hours ago shut the front face. door no i'm serious i'm serious and so that to me like that's one story that happened today in that chair when you get an understanding of purpose in your life there is no greater purpose than to actually help someone ever never ever give up because every human being has value it's easy for people to say yeah but to lots of things, but how could anyone dare say yeah, but to you? It's funny because people still do. <laughs> <laughs> do they really? <laughs> and they do. And really? they, there was this one kid at school who's like, well, it's easy for you to know who you, you know, what your purpose is. You have no arms or legs. I'm like, I'm going to take you out of the room, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, the, the, the principles are the same. Um, it's not about the actual problem that you're going through. It's how you're dealing with it, the disabilities, the limitations that you put on yourself, the fear and all these things that we talked about today on stage that you can actually break through, you can get through, and you just have to be your biggest cheerleader as well. 
Faith, family, friends, huge three pillars of my life to make me who I am today. Did you, you have a really strong connection with God, okay? A, a deep commitment to that relationship you have. When in your life, and, and did you ever question him? Oh yeah, many, for eight, uh, seven or eight years, I hated God. How old were you when that I happened? was, I was, I was, from age eight to age 12, I was depressed from age six. I hated God for about six or seven years. Um, so what changed it? Because you you know, you've got every reason to. Well, first of all, you need to know, like, we, it's not hard to actually understand why I hated him, mm -hmm. the loving God who can do all things. Where's my miracle? Where is he? Why is there pain in the world? Um, and what changed for me was I was waiting always for a plan. If you tell me your plan, then I trust you. And what I love about uh, the scriptures that I read is um, how God had a plan for a blind man and no one knew why he was born that way, just like me. And uh, it was said that it was done so that the works of God would be revealed through him. And so um, that's why I'm like, okay, God, if you have a plan for a blind man, then you have a plan for me. Heal my heart. I don't need to know your plan. Just give me faith to believe that you have one. And now the story is understanding that really in the end, right? Nick dies, dead, done, finished, done, done. No money doesn't do anything for me. Nothing, nothing. I'm a citizen of heaven passing through. And when I'm in heaven and I get to see other people, women, children, men on the other side who come up to me, running to me and saying, you came to my country, you came to my school, you gave me hope. And now I really believed in heaven after hearing you speak. If we can help other people know that heaven is real, that God is real, and you can have that relationship. Um, that to me is everything. And so uh, it's it, people say, well, thank you so much for being my miracle. I didn't make my own story up. So my history is his story to help everyone. That's the message here. No matter what broken pieces you have, it can be used for beautiful things and helping people to realize, hey, there is still uh, a God who loves you and has a plan for you. You said more in six minutes than a lot of people say in six hours. Thank you so, so much for taking the time, as brief as it was, to talk to you. Everyone sitting in this room right now is completely enamored by you. But Nick, I really I wanna, appreciate it. I want to say one more thing. Go I on. I want to say one more thing. Um, this is not my last time to Dubai. Um, I am praying for everyone. I'm praying for everyone in the region. And, uh, and I am so thankful to announce to you that um, we have a curriculum that we are hoping to um, encourage young people all across the world with values. And so I just want to say to everyone in Dubai listening, watching, thank you for loving me. Thank you for your welcome. And I feel welcome to come back. And I think we will. And one day together with my family. So thank you, Spencer, for what you do. You will also have no idea how many seeds of love get root and then grow into something beautiful until one day. But thank you for what you've done and, and uh, keep going and your team, all the best. Thank you, mate. Cheers, thank mate. you, mate. How cool is he? Thank you. Love you, mate. Thank you. You're awesome. Well, there you have it. It wasn't a long podcast, but he said more in the last 10 minutes than a lot of people say in 10 hours. What an epic guy. I'm so, so proud and grateful to get the chance to talk to the, what an amazing person Nick Vujicic is. Anyway, if you would like to see more of my content, then guess what? You can click up there and you can see other podcasts that I've created, other videos for you to consume. But if you're really awesome and you think I'm fantastic and you want to click up there, you can subscribe and then you can get all of my episodes coming to you week after week after week and you can share them with your friends as well so why don't you do that that's the best thing to do i'll see you soon